sponsored by 666bet.com. This is Cook and Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with Macro Jim Marbat and 666 Bet. We're at the Echo Arena here. With me, I've got Anthony Joshua. He's doing a bit of stretching. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, very early night for yourself and uh, Mr. Sprott. Mm. Uh, as soon as you found your range, the power came through yet again. Yeah. Um, I, I, well, Sprott's a veteran. I'm not saying he's a, a world beater. I'm not saying he's a, he's a pure, what do you call it, a journeyman because of the level of opponents he's been in with. Um, but all respect to him, I think, as you said, I found the range. And um, when you when shots start connecting, you can see something in their eyes change. And then you have to go and uh, suss them out, you know, follow up. And if the stoppage comes, it comes. If it didn't, I would have stepped off and got back to my boxing and then hopefully I've picked up where I left off. There was uh, probably about a moment before the last flurry of punches where you kind of knew that that fight was going to sort of end in that moment. I don't know if you were aware of that when you were in the ring, but watching it from an outside perspective, it's like as soon as you connected cleanly first, you just, you're just you waiting f from outside of it for you to finish the job, which you've been doing in all your fights. Oh, so it's like I'm, I'm looking. Boom, looking, boom, looking, it's bam, then you see. Bam. And then, yeah, and if there's enough seconds left in the round to finish the job, yeah, yeah it looks like you'll do it. Because you can, that's what I say, well, you can see something in their eyes and their face change. And if you can pick that up, which I think fighters, fighters have been in the ring enough times and sparring, you can know when, when to attack. But I'm not saying that you can, you can turn it into a weakness because you're a fighter, you get fighters that are veterans that are hurt, but know how to tuck up and swing a right hand back. So even though, you go in, you can't go in gun ho you've got to go in, you know, balanced, hands up, let your shots go, come off at angles, just so you're protecting yourself at all times. What did you learn from the fight, if you learned anything? Okay, you've got to remember, right? A few things. Training is where you learn. Fighting is where you win. You know what I mean? Training is where you learn. So this isn't like, for me, uh, let me learn just at that fight, that fight, that fight. This has been like, uh, eight year span of going from not knowing how to fight to 10 and 0 professional. So I'm learning right the way across. So what I learned in that fight in particular is everything that my coach has been teaching me over the last 10 fights, which is I've learned how to deal with um, a crowd, the experience. I'm not saying like anyone's well beaters, but I'm saying that to have like Erich, Skelton, Sprott, Baktov, British Eliminator, WBC International in 10 fights. I know we're dispatching them in good fashion, but it shows what I'm learning is that I can cope at a higher level and I can be pushed at a higher level. So that's why we can now go to the Johnsons. Even though they're being dispatched in a round, it doesn't matter. That's the beauty of boxing, that you can finish a fight within the distance. And uh, what I'm trying to say is that it's not, I may not be getting the rounds under the belt, but I'm learning on how to handle myself, prepare for each fight, different occasions, and that things I'm doing when I first started boxing to now, it's kind of working and it's slowly coming together. Your next opponent on January 31st, Kevin Johnson, which Eddie Hearn confirmed to us uh, in the Sky interview. Um, I believe he's never been stopped, correct? Well, with Kevin Johnson, um, if it's confirmed, well, it's confirmed, we'll see. Um, but it'll be a good fight. I think, yeah, he's never been stopped. Um, but what does that say? What does that mean? Well, that means that if you are to stop him, you really okay. are making a statement. Um, I think making a statement would be becoming heavyweight champion of the world. Fair enough. Stop, stopping Kevin Johnson would just be another fire on my record, I feel. You know? Did it, sorry, Anthony, did Eddie Hearn confirm that fight, or did he say he was looking for that fight? Um, I think he said he confirmed it. I'm pretty sure he could. I'm a, oh. Uh, Alright, well listen, Kevin Johnson's yeah, the yeah, opponent yeah, yeah. in mind anyway yeah, for the yeah, 31st. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, we okay. have to, when you get Eddie next, I will. Straight ask after. him if he spoke to the trainer and yeah. get everything, get everything I'm sure it is. sealed. Yeah. I'm sure it is. Yeah, vacuum sealed. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, but again, yeah. this is phase two. Your Phase two! Phase two. <laughs> the famous phase two. Phase two. <laughs> phase one, one to ten, and then phase two, what, what's that, ten to twenty? Ten, ten, ten to, because what it is, ten to sixteen, because I asked, Frotch fought for his championship belt. Well, he's had 36 fights, I think, 33 fights. Barker has, has had like 28, and they're champions, so I think ten was now, ten to sixteen, 
10 to 18 is like phase two. And I think as you start going like 19, you start really looking at, yeah. at world championship level or you beat the odds and you improve at a faster rate than you predicted, which is kind of what I'm saying. That's why I mentioned skeletons and yeah. stuff because we're, we're progressing. Um, all right, well listen. How are you? I'm all right, I'm good. We didn't do our little thing. Everyone was tweeting me for the last two well, days. Well, don't, don't worry. I think we still got time. We can still get that together and I think It'll be good too. I think that's one in the pipeline for sure. Maybe down at the matchroom gym. I think so. I think that'd yeah. be good. Yeah, yeah. All right, listen, I'm going to let you carry on with your stretching. Thank Thanks you. for talking to Eiffel TV as always. No problem. And uh, well done tonight. Thank Job you, done. Brother. On to the next one for you. Yeah. All Shout right. out to everyone tuned in and I'll catch up with you lots soon. Have a good Christmas if I don't see you before. Peace. Such a nice guy. Yeah. I've better knock off the camera. <laughs>